Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to the digital art series here on PSD Touch Plus. Today, I'm going to show you again a whole painting process from start to finish. And this time I'm going to draw or paint a battle axe. So we are going to sketch this weapon uh, using the pen tool, so creating vector shapes in at this time. And then I'm going to paint over it and use filters and effects to achieve the textures on top of it. So let's get started. You can follow the whole process. It's a bit faster, three times faster than real time, but you can still see what I'm doing. I created a rectangle, it's a shape, and I'm using the add command. Whenever I add a new shape, it's going to be in the same vector mask. You can see in the layers panel, I'm just subtracting and adding elements to it. And I'm using the rulers just to create a middle point for my element. And it's good to know that whenever you copy and paste uh, shapes in the, in the same vector mask, you can define uh, that placement. So you can put them behind or forward, um, let, let's say in this case the rectangle in the middle, by just simply selecting the other object and copy pasting it again on top of the other shape. So it's up to you how you draw the, draw the weapon. You can use the pen tool and just draw around uh, the whole object. But uh, in this case I'm using these shapes and moving them around and try to make them uh, uh, symmetrical. So this is the way I'm constructing the weapon. Obviously you can do this with the brush tool. Uh, so it's, it's just another way to work. But um, most of the times if I want to draw a weapon I prefer to use uh, vector shapes when I start, uh, before I start. And if you want to be more familiar with these tools, and obviously it's a bit too fast to see what I'm doing exactly, and then I, I suggest to watch, I suggest you to watch the basic series, Photoshop basic series here on PSD Touch Plus, or search for any uh, tutorials about the pen tool or vector shapes. There's plenty of them uh, here on PSD Touch Plus. So as you can see now, I'm getting close to the final shape of uh, the battle axe. So I have all the elements in place and I'm experimenting with a subtraction from the main blade of the axe. But then I just changed my mind and uh, I'm going to draw uh, some motifs on top of the axe instead of uh, using these uh, empty parts on it. So I just delete them and I keep them uh, like this. So now I created a new layer and I merged together everything into a raster layer. So I don't, I still keep the vector images, but I prefer to work on a raster uh, <coughs> layer. And uh, now I'm using simply just selections. So I'm using the pen tool and I creating, I'm creating a line and I'm drawing around a selection to define the shape of the blade. So these sharp parts of the blade. Uh, I still need the symmetry to be able to work properly. So I just define one side of the X and then I'm going to uh, duplicate it and use it on the other side to keep it symmetrical. So as you can see, I'm only working on the left side at the moment. And I'm yet just using the brush tool and defining the shape of the X or the parts of the X. Now I'm using the burn tool to create uh, the darker parts on the blade. So the shadows, this will define uh, the depth and the three dimensional quality. Now I created the duplicate and I moved it on the other side and then I'm going to delete the original part. So now I have the basic shape and I merged it together. So it's nice and uh, symmetrical. 
and we already have some of the highlights and shadows on the blades. Now I'm going to work uh, on left and right side as well simultaneously. So you see I'm using the mixer brush to create those little um, imperfections on the blade and I'm using the eraser tool now to also do the same thing on the edge just to make it a bit more realistic. I'm using now the dodge tool to create some highlights. I'm defining these areas a bit more. Now I'm making a selection, an elliptical selection, and I'm adding another edge on the on the blade also here on the top I make a selection and then I just draw inside that selection it's good to know when you make elliptical or rectangular selections that you can hold down space to move them around while you are still drawing them and you can see now I have most of the edges uh, the blades ready and I'm working on a separate layer now I would like to create this little detail here on the X and I'm going to copy this uh, once I'm ready with it so I use the same three times. Now I'm going to focus on the bottom part and I use that part but I make sure that the lock transparency is turned on on the base layer and now I'm looking for a color that I can use for the handle and that is the one that I chose. Well, I will draw over that part again. I'm just adding a highlight on the bottom and now I'm adding the shadows on the right and the left side of the handle. Also here in the middle I add some highlights and shadows with Doge and Burn tool. The next thing I'm going to do is to create some more detail here around the handle. just a simple edge on the top and the bottom of the handle. Now I'm ag again adding shadows with the burn tool and I changed the background color to black just to see a bit more detail. It's easier to work with the black, uh, black background and I'm adding some more highlights and shadows to define the shape of the battle axe. And now I'm going to do some um, details. I'm working on a separate layer and I'm drawing with the brush tool. And I would like to create a nice pattern on the X. And obviously I just need to do one side. Then we can again uh, mirror or reflect it on the other side. So here, as you can see, sometimes I can't do it for the first time, but I I still prefer to use the brush tool because I want to make this look like hand painted uh, details on the X and I'm just creating or, or making up some runes or something like that um, as a decoration on the, on the X. So I just do this really quickly. I fill that part in and then I draw uh, another part here on the left. Again I like to uh, experiment with my lines and I always undo and redo my steps until I get to the detail that I would like to use and one more shape here on the left just to fill in the whole X I need to follow this closely and then again I had some details there. Now I can copy and reflect this. I'm using the free transform tool and I have the whole painted effect on top of the X. I will play a bit with the colors later on but for now it looks fine. I'm now using again lock transparency on the X and I just draw over the handle to add these straps. I turned off the lock transparency now and I'm drawing on the edges just to give depth and shape to the straps. And now I'm using the dodge tool to uh, add a little, uh, again, form onto the straps. But then I changed my mind and I'm going to use 
just simply the brush tool and add shadows on the straps mainly on the edges I just draw over the edges again and that defines their shape better than the burn and the dodge tool you should always experiment with these basic tools one of them will work best for you for me in this case it was better to do this first and then add some dodge and burn on the edges and in the middle so the handle part is ready I can now focus again a bit here on the top piece and adding a bit more shadows just to make it even better and even more realistic and I'm almost done I want to create the texture so for that I created a new layer and I'm going to use add noise filter and then the motion blur so that will create this steel texture for me which I apply or use it as a clipping mask on top of the battle axe and I that means it will only show up on the steel parts so this is how it looks now it's uh, even more realistic now that we have this texture on it now I'm going to select uh, a part of the of the blade and I'm going to add a bit more shadow on it Yeah, here I'm adding a gradient overlay on the X just to make the bottom part a bit darker than the top part and I'm adding some highlights as well on the blades and on the bottom part I also add a bit of texture using some filters I'm experimenting with blend modes I try to achieve something a bit more interesting on the bottom and I go back and make some parts darker just to have a bit of more contrast on the whole weapon something like this and we are almost there I just add some final details I'm using the brush tool again and I'm drawing these little lines just as a decoration um, I add these final details to the X I always like to add some little color at the end um, because we had really muted colors on this image so I I prefer to add some color so there's a nice touch at the end I just crop my image because it's unnecessary to keep a big canvas and now I'm using a layer style a color overlay to turn the pattern on the X blue and that's the final result so I just check it on white and black and that's it so that's all what I wanted to do with this concept it was a fast uh, concept obviously the more time you spend on it it can be the, even more realistic I hope I inspired you again to do something different and use the same tools and techniques and just combine them again in a different way. I'm glad you joined me today and I hope I will see you next time as well.